I'm out. Hold on. Take the headphones off. I'll holler at you. I'm going to go upstairs and eat, get something to eat because I'm the best detective ever. What up? We back, man. Back with another Lost Judgment, man. Last time we saw Granny was running, wasn't she? I'm trying to get you some camera time, ain't you, big face? Yeah, turn around. Look at Nah, boy, you gonna get me in there. Let me shout out my old people. Home. What's look at that like that? That's my channel. Damn, you can, you can drop the attitude on 89.99 first. You better go to them 59.99. All right, so we back, man. Back on, oh, look at the traffic collision. Everything going down. We back on, my fault. Lost Judgment, man. Last time we was on here, we talked to Mama Mia. Uh, she told us everything, man. If you missed that, go check that out. I'm still tripping off the traffic jam behind me. Um, so we're going to go interview Ahara. You know what I'm saying? Because the groping, the groping case, we're trying to, we're trying to make him um, redo that case so we can put him for murder charges. But he ain't going to agree to that. But we're going to go sleep on the couch first. So, uh, yeah, we back, man. Let's go. Make sure you hit that thumbs up share for your boy. Let me get some practice swings in. Hey, hey, bubble jacket. Hey, I just bought me a jacket like this, bro. Because of y'all. Oh! Damn, your shirt works the Kaidos, homie. You're going to see him, too, in the hospital. Now, Kaido still got you beat. Yours ain't as bright. Yeah, man, so the groping case, Mama Mia told us it was all, you know, part of the plan. Come on, man. You gotta go to Tech! 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 Stop! Stop that! Can't block those! Can't block them! Can't block them! Sorry about that, sir! Come back, lad! Stop it! You gotta level up, nigga! Stop it! Level! Get blocked! Put your nigga, stop that! In your ribs! Uh huh? About that! I'm about that! Where you at? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you like that, bro? Yeah. Let's check the block for you next. Hold on, let me get that behind you. Uh, move. So let's go back to my place, man. Yeah, man, the groping case, man. Uh, It was all, you know, cover up for a murder. He's trying to prove, he's doing what I said. He's trying to prove that um that the uh, system's messed up. Like the movie Law by the Citizen. Remember on Law by the Citizen? He was sneaking out of jail killing people. They come back in jail, which was pretty fake as hell. Bro, I literally didn't go anywhere. Bro, I went down the street. Talking to y'all, I didn't drove a taxi down the street, bro. Here we go. Get on my way, time to go to sleep. Man, so we got a horror, holler at a horror in the morning. And I think my Mia gonna die, cause she just told everything. They don't need her no more. All right, time for Sarah saying to meet the interview of her. I better take a cab to the top. Let's go. On it. Let me upgrade my dude. Hold on. All right, y'all. So I got some uh, extra uh, strength for my battles. They said we can't get a, uh, another trial on Ahara if he doesn't agree to um, do something. So he got to agree to even do it. I don't know why he would do it. That's like saying, yeah, you can charge for murder. Go ahead. We back, baby. Hey, nigga, yeah. Boy, I'm in jail so fresh, ain't he? you're recommending an appeal. I have that right? Yeah. Did some new evidence come to light? Maybe. Never. You Imamiya told us some things. Like how you faked your alibi for Mikoshiba's murder. Yeah. You wanted the sexual battery conviction, right? Don't tell him, don't tell him your hand. Well, your goal was to avenge your son and humiliate the law on a grand scale. I have no idea what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Ahara-san, we have a much better grasp of the situation than you think. Just like he's grasping that ass. And what exactly have you grasped? Something you like didn't grasp? Like Yagami-san just said, you're innocent. As far as the harassment goes. As your lawyer, I'll file for an appeal. And we'll make sure the world knows it. Let them know. Thanks, but no. I'm scum of the earth. <laughs> a pervert. The prosecution and the judge made that very clear in the verdict. Well, he, he tried to show you. Yeah, On the day of the crime, October 7th, at around 6.30 a.m., you were in Ijincho, not Tokyo. Get up. <laughs> Baloney. I was relaxing at home. <laughs> Except that you weren't. Oh? Yeah. You wanted to give the man who pushed your son to suicide the beating of a lifetime. And you'd miss out on that opportunity if you were at home, which is why you were in Ijincho instead. Mm -hmm. Isn't that right? 
You and Kiwana's former student staked out Mikoshiba's house until he left. Get him! Then you dragged your prey into a car and brought him to an abandoned building in a Jinsho, which would later become a murder scene. With the breath out, look at the mask. Every bone on Mikoshiba's fingers was broken. Remembering how he pushed Toshiro-kun to his death, it's no wonder you'd go that far. You tortured Mikoshiba without a shred of remorse. No, look at him back there. You inflicted no small amount of pain and terror. There's no way you weren't there. And I'd put my money on that. Well, sir. And then... And we ain't got a lot of money. You need the whole play-by-play? -play? Even though you already know it? You go to jail, nigga. Oh, Even not longer. at all. I'm just fascinated by this outrageous little story. I'll use a piece of evidence to show what he did next after beating uh, Miss Kushiba. What, the video? He know the video out. As for what you did next after beating Mikoshiba. <laughs> it's quite a home video. Uh, the game's deep. Without leaving anything on Mikoshiba's body that could be traced back to you, you slid his throat. Estimated time of death was around 7.30 a.m. on October 7th. You tossed the bloody coat and made your way to Ikebukuro Station, where Yui Mamiya was waiting. Oh, ass nigga. Are you sure? Yeah. I was at Ikebukuro by 7.30 a.m. Would have been impossible for me to kill Mikoshiba and Ijinsho. But Kawana was acting the person like person in you. the security camera footage in Ikebukuro was a double who imitated your likeness. With a mask on. The identity of whom belonged to Jin Kawana, yeah. the handyman in Ijinsho. Or maybe you know him by a different name. Well, your ass, boy! Former high school teacher, Yu Kitakata. Huh? So which name did he give you? What's poppin', nigga? I don't know who you're talking about. See. With Kawana in view of the security camera, you met up with Yui Mamiya at Ikebukuro first. That's where you touched the undergarments she had prepared. And you liked it. The police would later discover the trace evidence on your hands and pin the groping on you. Then you made your way to Shinjuku Station. After that, Mamiya and Kuwana acted out the groping as they arrived at Shinjuku Station. Look, you got a fake jaw mask. Look at that. Kuwana jumped out of the train and Mamiya chased after him. And then, in the smallest of blind spots in a station absolutely packed with cameras... Y'all switched! You were waiting for Kuwana, who looked just like you. With the two of you matching, you were able to swap places in that huge crowd without anyone noticing. Kawana handed you the transit card used to pass the ticket gate. Just one piece of hard evidence that places you and Ikebukuro at 7.43 a.m. Mm -hmm. And right after the swap, Mamiya started calling for help. You had your niggas with cameras after over there. After that, well, we've all seen how the news reported it. You were caught in a public place with plenty of witnesses. Look, look Kawana over there An on the active right. duty police officer arrested for sexual battery. The public outcry was very clear. As a result, despite it being your first offense, you were actually tried and convicted. The consensus is that it was a fitting punishment for someone so heinous. Even as your lawyer, I felt the same. Have some confidence in yourself, Shirosaki sensei <laughs> The prosecution, the judge, and a lawyer like you all laid out the evidence in court and found me guilty. Man, stop playing with us, bro. I'm in no position to doubt you. And I've long accepted the ruling that Toshiro was never bullied. <laughs> never bullied. There's nothing I can do but abide by the rule of law. Bitch. Right? That's all I can do, right? I know I what you're trying to say. Voice there, bitch. You carried out the justice that the courts wouldn't, right? You're trying to prove the law Everything shit. my son went through was passed off like it never even happened school, the teachers, and yes, the court. They all dismissed the reason he died. Oh, oh, oh. That's when Kawana came in the picture, telling you Toshiro-kun had been bullied. Cause... But was it Kawana's words that suddenly made you want to kill Mikoshiba? No, nah, it was because of uh, Sawase. Didn't because all that. of his fingers were broken while he was still alive. Was that really all just your pent-up rage? What do you have to say, Tahara-san? There shouldn't have been any evidence of Miss Kashiba's bullying. Who told her the truth? I, I, I already told you, bruh. That girl that's pushing up daisies. 
Sawa Sensei! Was Sawa Sensei the one who told you the truth? She was the only person Toshiro Kun confided in. You had to have heard it from her, right? No, no you heard it from a, a, a horror. hit the nail on the head, as they say. Nearly? After my trial, she confessed she knew about the bullying. But only to her old teacher yeah, over to, the phone. To Kawana, then he told you. She had no idea she was being recorded. Sneaky ass nigga. What? Kuwana-san let me listen to that recording where I learned Sawa Sensei had been muzzled by both the homeroom teacher and the lawyer. That was the proof of Toshiro's bullying I'd wanted all throughout the trial. After hearing Sawa Sensei's words, I finally understood. They pushed my boy over the edge. Was there no other evidence of the bullying? Like a diary of Toshiro-kun's or something of the sort? Nothing. Toshiro never talked to me or my wife about the bullying. And that was probably all my fault. Sound like a bad father, nigga. Wanna take it there? Huh? He was bullied in middle school, too. Damn, you didn't do that? Kids would throw his pencil case around or hide his books. When I heard about it, I chewed him out. Chewed him? Yeah. They walk all over you because you're weak. Gross spying. Shit. I told him. We stopping their little asses out. I take it that was the wrong approach. Yeah. <sighs> I can't imagine how much courage it took for him to Cut come music. forward about his suffering. I'm sure he felt ashamed about it. <laughs> I should have listened when he pleaded for help. You should have. I should have told him I was proud of his bravery. But instead, I pushed him away. And in the end, Toshiro tried to make sure he never showed weakness to us again. You gotta watch and say your kids, no man. They might not tell you nothing how else. How much pain he was in. He went to a private school out in Yokohama because he hated living with me. But in the end, he still suffered. And that's why you didn't hesitate to unleash hell on Mikoshiba. Because you felt like you owed him, man. If you say so. Can you write that all down, nigga, so we can go home? Okay, he still won't admit to murdering Miss Kashiba. Must be killing him not to. Must be killing him. No, he killed Miss Kashiba. Okay. So, yeah, man. He said, basically, uh, he told his son, man, get your weak ass. You better get some muscle out here, bro. It's not getting pumped. And the son was, you know, I guess the son never got that muscle, you know, never got, you know, the balls stayed up. And the son was like, I ain't telling my daddy. So, you know, you got to you gotta talk to your kids like, it's okay, son. It's okay. Then you go to the wife like, this nigga's off. Who we gonna do with him? You know, you don't say the kid that me, I'm going up there fighting parents, mugging kids, but that's just me. So, uh, yeah, he still wanted me. Let's go. So the first time Kawana showed up was when he let you listen to the phone call with Sawa Sensei, right? Yes. He approached me and asked me if I still wanted justice for my son. He's like, hell yeah. I was in uniform when he came to me too. Very bold, but it paid off. I owe him a debt of gratitude. <laughs> he reassured me he had already taken care of multiple individuals like Goshiba. Kill. And that he'd urged other families to avenge the children they lost to bully. He'd tell them that simply being branded a bully wasn't enough. He promised to deliver real justice. <laughs> if justice can here. be served at one's own discretion, laws would cease to serve their function. What? If the law isn't fair to everyone, no one will obey it. The law is only able to help the powerless because it can't be swayed by money, force, or anything else. Then tell me. Yeah, why the fuck up then? What's the solution when the law fails to punish someone who laughs in its face? What you did? No, I'm playing. No, I'm playing. To overlook those the law won't <laughs> judge is to abandon those the law couldn't protect. To render justice with confidence, you require sufficient evidence. Did you kill him or not, nigga? Some of the victims' families refused Kawana's offer of revenge, telling him it would be unforgivable. But even after rejecting his offer, not a one reported Kawana-san to the police. Like, no. Do you understand what that implies? 
Whether you follow through with revenge or not, Kuanasan presents a solution that resonates with people. Being that the law is unfair and imperfect, am I wrong about that? Man, did you murder the nigga? No, you're not. Let me know. But we're fighting to make it as fair as we can. Laws have to change until they are perfect. They don't change fast enough. Hold on, bro. Toshiro's death was murder by another name. Yet, Hiromi Kushiba walked free. We watching a movie. He even got to enroll in a teaching program as a student teacher. What's our say? Someone like him? It's insane! I'd die of old age before the law was ever written to be fair enough. For Toshiro's sake, I can't turn a blind eye to a world where the Mikoshibas can live without consequence. He said, I'm sliding, nigga. Tell me. I'm sliding. What alternative was there to getting blood on my hands? Bro, you keep hanging this motherfucker. I didn't have any other choice. Kick through this glass, boy. Yagami-san, did he just... He, he just said he didn't have a choice. We didn't this is it. the first time you've admitted to killing Mikoshima. Damn. Got you me good. really did your research, unlike those useless cops. Wanasan's plan was impressive. Almost airtight. Almost. I didn't expect it to be unraveled so quickly. That air ass you was touching. We I just got, got to lucky. There was some dirt on Yui Mamiya that Mama Mia, could have used yep. against her. That's why they dropped their women off. It, when you do there's no way something. we would have gotten her to talk. What are you talking about? Yeah, oh boy. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm under no obligation to tell you. Biatch. Nahara-san, you'll be sent to prison as a sex offender as it stands. Well, we're gonna get your ass murdered. Of course. Just as I planned. <laughs> the charges will be confirmed, and I'll be convicted. As for the police and the prosecution, they wouldn't be able to admit they made a mistake. I could scream, I killed Mikoshiba at the top of my lungs. Hold on, let me record that. Scream Are it. you saying you intend to admit to the murder after you're released? I think he is. Everyone's seen the video of me killing Mikoshiba by now. It's obviously authentic, but the prosecution and the police are saying it's fake. They need it to be fake. Even they if want I do confess, fake. they'll sweep it under the rug. <sighs> they wouldn't. No, that's not beneath them. But I take it how they react doesn't really matter to you. All you want is to humiliate the law, don't you? Yes. The same system that determined Toshiro-kun's incident didn't happen. <laughs> it seems you're starting to understand, Yagami-san. I've been knowing, bro. Ahara has achieved most of what he wanted to do, but I can't overlook what he's already done. That man don't care about going to jail. If the prosecution wanted to charge me for Mikoshiba's murder, then they'd have to retract the battery verdict. And now that will prove that your point. Mean, Admitting to a massive blunder by the court. Uh huh. At the hands of a criminal. Now we'll prove your point. It would be chaos. Despite knowing who murdered Mikoshiba, no one would know what to make of the case. Wouldn't that just be wonderful? I hear you. And I even get why you'd feel pretty proud of accomplishing that. Do you? But in this case, the guys pretty much grabbed the tiger by the tail. What yeah. tiger's tail? Someone's issuing orders to the thugs in Kamurocho from behind the scenes. He's the tiger in this case. And they've been closing in on your partner, Kawana. Uh-huh. And Sawa-sensei got in their path. Soma! I'm sure you get the newspaper in here, right? You know, don't you? Sawa-sensei was killed after the thugs broke into her home. All because she got involved with Kawana. Where she was killed? This is the first I'm hearing of the reason why. And by thugs, you mean RK? Yeah. Yeah, but Real we don't know why they're Real going after Kawana. Any Real ideas? Kill. No way I'd know. You think it could be because she got mixed up in your deadly little game? Yeah. Excuse me. That's what getting away with murder really looks like. The more you perpetuate the lie, the greater the rift you create. And then... The unthinkable happens. Kawana killed others besides Mikoshiba. You said so yourself. That's what brought the angry tiger into play. And if Sawa-sensei ended up paying for that instead, 
Then how can you begin to believe your vengeance is fair? Why well, that's my girl? Because she gave false testimony. She lied in court to say Toshiro was never bullied. Don't give a fuck. She couldn't name Mikoshiba, who was a minor at the time, without evidence. What's more, she was haunted by her testimony. Always second-guessing if she did the right thing. We don't care about that, Yagami. She should've said Now so. she's been killed. Somehow that's acceptable to you. I'm gonna clear up what happened to Sawa-sensei. Just like you did for Toshiroku. Mm-hmm. How? By going public with everything you and Kawana did. The first step is to appeal the sexual battery and undo this whole lie. You never groped Yui Mamiya. That's one crime you're innocent of, Ehara-san. The court's verdict was incorrect. So please give us the chance to appeal. We can prove your innocence. What on earth would I get out of that? <laughs> you get to humiliate the court again. Yeah. Besides, what are you going to do for the next half a year in a cell? Might as well be in there for life. Fine. Do what you want, but just know this. Yes? I have no intention of admitting to killing Mikoshiba in court. Is your appeal still worth a damn? I got evidence, bro. We won't bro. know until we try. Let's go, sorry son. We have client approval to proceed with the appeal. We better act fast. Yes, agreed. That was horrible to agree to, I don't get it. What's happening, nigga? Change your jacket. Sawa-sensei's death isn't on me. Even if I have grabbed the tiger by the tail, that doesn't mean I killed her. By that logic, you may as well admit that Mikoshiba didn't kill Toshiroku. You can't have it both ways. Listen to me. Everything about you, about Kawana, about why Sawa-sensei had to die, we're gonna expose all of it. On the game. That's the only thing left we can do for her. Nigga. You see my eyes flaring up? Serious. I look tough in there, girl. I'm going to fill Genda Sensei in on what happened. You let him know. Why don't you head over to the office? Don't tell sure me, thing. Tell me what to do. Whose office? My office? Oh, Genda's office. Why don't we just go together? Are we here? What the fuck are you talking about? So then, Ihara admitted to killing Mikoshiba, did he? Kinda. Off the record, yeah. He also admitted Kawana approached him to offer revenge. That sounds like you were productive. How's it off the record? It's we'll enough for us that. to move forward with the appeal, I'd say. How does that sound, Genda Sensei? What's up, bro? Uh, Genda Sensei? Oh, gee, what's happening? The sexual battery and Mikoshiba's murder are the very same case. To clear Ihara of harassment, You'll need to prove he murdered Mikoshiba. But you don't have evidence he did, do you? The video? Ehara-san was captured on video committing the murder. And the prosecution claims it's a fake, of unknown origins. Fuck them! The police are saying the same. They're only saying that to cover their asses. Oh, no, they messed up. In reality, the sexual battery evidence against Ehara-san is what was really fake. We'll just prove that. At the very least, we can claim Yui Mamiya and the others aided in fabricating that. Alibi or not. You really think the courts will grant you an appeal for just that? Are you saying that's not possible? Well, you are, nigga. I wouldn't go that far. But Ehara won't admit to murdering Mikoshiba in court. Kind of significant, don't you think? So what chance do you have even if you do appeal? Without any decisive new evidence, you'll just end up splitting hairs over the original verdict. And what good'll it do other than damage your own reputation, Sarakun? I don't care about no reputation, nigga. So Genesis says worried about Sorsun's career. I'm sure that's the case, although I don't give a damn. To be honest with you, I feel like I've been deeply underestimated. Let him know. What? I N D E P E N D. Are you actually you know what that means? Yes. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I am. You have every right to be. That's such a Listen, weak ass Sensei. up. Ehara and Kawana devised this plan knowing full well they could manipulate the justice system. Have we not fallen right into their trap? If we take pity on the prosecution now, we play right into their hand. True. 
So how can we worry about reputation when our duty as lawyers is to face the law? Nigga? I understand where you're coming from. All you, you know right how to, to do is feast! But All you do is feast, big nigga! While acting as Ahara's defense in the first trial, I never truly believed the claim. I didn't trust the person I was defending, and I felt sick to my stomach even being in the courtroom. That's easy to say now. Sorry, son. Ahara likely saw right through that. He probably took great delight in our myopic dedication to the law. And I won't stand for that. <laughs> I'm gonna show him exactly what I can do. Hmm. What right. about you, Yagami? I, I want to hear your thoughts. Take her ass off the case. She over here tripping now. She's turned into a super saiyan. All right, he's not saying it, but he disagrees with Sora saying, how should I move this forward? Man, fuck him. This said has a point here. We should listen to Sora saying, nigga. What's up? We should listen to Sari san. I don't work for you, I no understand more. why Ahara and Kawana did what they did. I can't condone it. I see. So you feel it too? Huh? Fuck the law, nigga. Yes. Although my motivation may not be as righteous as Sari san's. Hmm. What do you mean? Mikoshiba's murder, the fake groping alibi. The one behind it all was Kawana, and he's in hiding. We need to shine enough light on him that the public can see what he is. And the perfect place to do it is during Ahara's appeal hearing. Mm -hmm. So it's not Ahara you're after, but Kuwana. If we pursue Ahara's case, Kuwana-san's actions will naturally come to light. You're right. And if we draw out Kuwana, then RK and the ones backing them will make their move. Soma from RK said Sawa-sensei knew too much. Look at everybody. Which means whoever's behind them has a secret that needs to stay buried, even if it means murder. Soma! And I need to figure that secret out. I owe Sawa Sensei that closure. The only thing we can do for her now is make sure the ones pulling the strings pay for it. Mm-hmm. Well said. I guess going back wasn't ever really an option. Genda Sensei. Looks like I got complacent from all the peace and the quiet. Leave it to me to underestimate the younger generation. Yeah, old man. I apologize. I shouldn't have been so impertinent. Man, show sure you gotta apologize. That should be my line. This nigga cool. still use a typewriter. I suppose I have to make up my mind after all that, don't I? Get hit. Get out there and do what needs to be done. And heaven help anyone in your way. Nigga, we been yeah. doing that. Yep, what you heard him. What are you talking about? We been out here working. Donut destroyer? What's up? Who's calling? Hope everything's okay. What's poppin'? Hello? Yagamishi, are you still in Kamurocho? Yeah, why? What's, What's up? I'm afraid RK seems to be amassing in Ijincho. It's very bizarre. Like, who are they getting ready are for? they now? Yeah, I can't shake the feeling that the officers like Soma and Akutsu are still in town. You think so? You wouldn't pull up? If I was Soma, I'd have left Ijincho by now. He's a person of interest in Sawa Sensei's murder, too. That nigga did do it. I see. That does make sense. Things are settling into place here, though. I'm heading back to Ijincho with Sugiura. Oh, my way. a lot to go over with you when I get back. <laughs> Wonder what it could be. Okay, see you soon, then. All right, so we said Soma and them over there set trip with the gang, RK gang. What's up, bro? Didn't they hurt your pinky or something? Yeah, what happened to you? Go. You got knocked out. Nigga, don't come with me. How about you? Hey, let's go. All right, come on. So, uh, yeah, man, Soma... It's the guy that used to get bullied. I'm telling you, he's supposed to be in a coma, but he's not. His mama supposed to be watching over him or something. She's like head of the head of the um, health department or some shit. We're gonna head back over here though. Oh, we got pop, bro. He probably killed he killed um Sawase because she was in there when he was getting bullied too. Wasn't she wasn't she in the classroom? What's up, bro? You walk here? Damn. Where are we going? I thought I could keep up. No, no, I'm working on the boosters. I got them boosters. Holla. I'm gapping you. Hold on, bro. You, you, you throw hands? Let me test your, your hand skill. Test your hand skill. What's up, nigga? Move. Move up. What's up? Why you like this? Oh, okay. You the, you the tough guy? Stop that. My boy over here working something. Get him. Do the 
thing, um. What else we got? I'm gonna get, get that nigga. Get, get his ass. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah! <laughs> really, guys? I like your style, homie. Oh, you can roll with me. Come on. Yeah, let's go. But if you, when they drop shit, nigga, it's mine. You better not pick up nothing. When they drop that little Huggies box. Pop, where they at? And that's what happened. Well, now that's something. Yeah, tell us. That's Looks not... like we're finally starting to see the whole picture. Kuwana-san, or rather Kitakata-sensei, huh? And his students helped Ihara murder Mikoshiba. But there's still some things that doesn't explain. Like what? Like why does RK keep going after Kuwana-san? You think that's weird too, right, Yagami-san? Cause Soma told yeah. me. No, it's not weird. That's the piece of the puzzle that'll lead us to why Sawa-sensei got killed. Why is RK after Kiwana? How much do they know about him? Man, or, cause Soma was the student getting bullied, and Kiwana was the teacher letting it go down. Before they came to Ijinsho, RK was originally looking for Shinya Kawai. Yeah. But when they found out he might have been killed, they suddenly shifted gears to Kiwana. So what are they trying to accomplish? Everybody else bullying. We can guess all we want, but that's not gonna get us anywhere. Shouldn't we ask someone in RK directly? They're strengthening their numbers in Ijinsho as we speak. I don't care about the that. coons at the bottom rung aren't going to be in the know on that, though. They don't know nothing, they say. So if Akatsu or Soma were around, then we might get somewhere. That's true. Sitting around here won't get us any further. I'm going to head into the city for a bit. I'm quick on my feet. That's about all I have going for me right now. <laughs> Run away. How modest of you. Yeah, don't say that, Yagamishi. Otherwise, what ground do we have to stand on? Yeah, don't. Stay your ass in the house. I should head outside for now. Oh, yeah. Let's go. What's up? Who that? Who that? Who that? Who that? Who that is? What you want? How's the vegetable coming along? Man, you can back me out. I can't back out. Mind your business. Show your ass up. Real shit going down. I'll give my money, too. I'm running around everywhere. All right, let's go. So I guess we're gonna try to get the arcade's attention. Then we can question them. Cause if Soma's around, he might be the, the heavy hitters. Where the arcade niggas at? So come outside. Who this? Who this? What's up, y'all arcade? What's up? Shit. I think I got a sword. Bitch, that nigga, stop that. Bitch, bitch, stop that, nigga. You ain't fucking nothing, nigga. Fuck. Oh. Mm. Block that nigga! Give me that shit! Oh, it's broke! Oh, all y'all niggas got swords, huh? Where oh, you I'm out here? Oh, I'm out here! Watch it, nigga! Come oh, here, come here! Oh, okay! Oh, hold on, hold on! Somebody gonna get. He didn't do the move, I'm off! But stop that! Block that! Block that! And stay Go. down. They don't know nothing, huh? Alright, they don't know nothing. Oh, what's up? What's poppin'? Hello? It's Shirosaki. Do you have a minute, Yagami-san? Okay. Yeah, what's up? 20 seconds. I was thinking back on our interview with Ihara-san, and something he said isn't sitting right with me. What's that? So I wanted to ask your opinion. Which part felt off? What's up? The part about Kuwana approaching other bullying victims besides Ahara-san to offer revenge. Ahara-san also mentioned that most of them rejected his offer, but never went to the police either. Yeah, and? Well, wasn't the first bully Kuwana killed his own student? Uh -huh. Shinya Kawai, I mean. Tormented by his bullies? Mitsuru Kusumoto's leap left him in a coma to this day. I'm telling you, so That event was the catalyst for Kuwana's actions. So wouldn't he have approached his parents about revenge too? Mitsuru Kusumoto's parents? They want him killed. You're talking about his mother, Reiko Kusumoto, right? Reiko Kusumoto. Mitsuru's mother, Reiko Kusumoto, she used to be in another suit. Hey, y'all. Her name is Reiko Kusumoto. RK game, I'm out. RK. I'm out. Hold on, take the headphones off. I'll holler at you. She's RK leader. I'm gonna go upstairs and eat and get something to eat because I'm the best detective ever. 
Mother, Rico Kuzumoto, RK. She used to be just another suit in the Ministry of Health, but now she's Vice Minister. He went to her. The damn um, handyman went to her. She's like, nah, I don't need your help for the bully. My son out here whooping ass. Ain't gonna kill your ass because you was the teacher. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you. Yes, who is currently Vice Minister of the Ministry of Health. Now she putting niggas on health. If she Life support. If or is even an accessory to a revenge plot against Kawhi, then there's no way she'd ever want that secret to get out. With her level of influence and power, uh -huh. wouldn't it be possible that she ordered RK to silence Kawana? Yeah. Which would explain how RK's actions are being controlled, wouldn't it? And you think it's Reiko Kusumoto? Yeah, oh, RK. No, go. <laughs> you don't think vice ministers can control criminal organizations from the shadows? I you do. You know very well the answer to that. I do. We yeah. did that last game, girl. Tsukumo's actually looked into her before. I'll talk to him about it right now. Nigga, let's go there. Yeah, this is genius, Sari-san. I am a genius. This could lead us right to who's controlling RK. Her! Quite a compliment coming from you. I feel better already. Girl, stop. You know I ain't <laughs> Don't feeling sweat you. It. Fuck, would you like I'll that? I'll call you if I find anything out. Okay. Time to get back to Tsukumo. It might be worth looking into Rico Kuzo more closely. Alright, so she's saying that, um... She's saying that, um, RK, well, she, she told Kawana to handle some bullies, and now she's trying to, um, kill them off, because, uh, she don't want them to get out that she paid somebody, you know, loose in. What's up, nigga? I'm trying to explain this shit. Nigga, run your RK, huh? I'm on you. Nigga trying to roll up out the back of a nigga star. You still getting it. You still getting it. Oh, shit. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, 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 stop, stop, mm. stop, big, big fella, big fella, whoop your ass, nigga, I'm feeling, I got the juice, nigga, block, 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 block that, nigga, block that, ain't no blocking it, tell y'all every game, ain't no blocking that, every time they start blocking, I hit him with that hook, yeah, man, so they saying, what was I saying? They said he trying to, um, she got him help from Kawana. And then, um, she trying to kill him because it's a loose end. Because, you know, she got a high, high official job. So she don't want him to come. What's up, doggy? See the dog sitting outside the door? I'm, I got something. Yagami-san, back already? Yeah. <laughs> that was quick. I figured you'd be out in the town until evening. Well, the day's not over yet. No, we got I need something. you to look into Reiko Kusumoto again. Hurry up. She might be the one behind RK. Really? Yeah. Can you pull up the picture of her you showed me last time? Pull up. What's, what we got, bro? Okay. Take a look at this, Yagamishi. Reiko Kusumoto became vice minister just recently. Okay. It hasn't even been a full year yet. She already looks like she's still got a good rep. Yeah, there's almost no criticism of her out there. She's trying to keep it like that. The ministry revolution, bucking the bureaucracy. Golden parachutes don't fly with Kusumoto. Hm. Go her. Vice minister is pretty high up there, yeah? Yeah, don't want to get time. in trouble. If she really did take Kawana up on his offer, silencing him would be the quickest way to save her skin. And in that case, she'd need some kind of connection to RK. Some kind of connection? A bit vague, no? Fair enough, but RK already took an innocent life while hunting Kawana down. Right. And after killing Sawa-sensei, they tried to kill me, too. Still, no matter how dangerous the gang, murder is a risky proposition. Then again, if someone's pulling the strings, they have a lot less to worry about. Especially if that someone has vice minister status. Yeah. Well, the internet's not gonna give us much else. How about we do our usual thing? Go straight to the source. You damn right. Maybe we should. Not with you, though. Would it really be that easy to get a meeting with someone like her? Shit. We played this last Kusumoto's game. Mitsuru still in a coma, right? No. Yes. If he's in a hospital, we can catch her by surprise there. I get ya. That might work. He ain't in a hospital. Uh, what's this now? What's what now? 
Breaking news from the net. It says manhunt for Sawa Sensei's murderer. And? It's hitting the network news, too. The person they're after is. Wanted for the ben murder Abimi. of private school teacher Yoko Sawa in her own apartment, Kanagawa PD is conducting okay. a search for the suspect, self proclaimed handyman Yu Kitakata. They put the murder on. Why are they looking for Kuwana? Shouldn't they be after Soma? Sawa's former teacher before and after the incident. It's also surfaced that he's been using a false identity for over a decade. Who gave all this the info police out? are hopeful that their search will turn up some sort of connection to Sawasan. They're trying to get the whole city on his ass to pull him out. Why are the police going after Kwana and not Soma? What the hell? She got something to do with it. They're trying to find his ass so the whole city looking for him, it'll be easier. Hmm. If Kawana-san was caught on camera, then surely some RK thugs were as well? Yeah, I think so. On that note, I should have been in the footage too. Uh -huh. The police only seem to want Kawana, but why? Guess we'll have to ask them ourselves. They ain't on the ask who? Detective Watanabe from Kanagawa PD. Yeah, big face. He was the guy in charge of Mikoshiba's murder. Been a while, hotshot. Yeah, I guess it has. What's poppin', bro? Hey, I'm curious. Do you have any evidence that Kawana killed Sawa-sensei? I take it you saw the news? Yeah. Kawana was caught on camera near the crime scene, plus he knew the victim. And if that's not enough, he was using a fake name. How's that for evidence? Nigga, I was there too! But I saw Soma holding an ice pick up to Sawa-sensei. Plus, there were RK footprints all over the scene. So why is Kawana the only suspect? Because the big boys with big balls at HQ said so. Barking at me won't get you anywhere. Mm -hmm. So this is all just pressure from upstairs? What is going on here? Well, yeah, dirty. Why are you so bent out of shape? Kawana's a legitimate suspect, and all we're doing is following procedure. So stick your private investigator schnoz somewhere else. Aw, oh, well, big dog. You know, you private sound pretty bent out of shape yourself. Uh-huh. Where are you right now? Oh, I beat your ass. Uh-huh. I pull up on I was your thinking ass. maybe we could meet up. How's a free pass to bitch about your work sound? <laughs> Abe san? Fuck, nigga! On the phone, in person, there's nothing I can tell you. <sighs> he hung up. Fuck ass, nigga! Doggy get savage! I managed to focus in on the background noise from your phone call. Despite all the interference, I have a good idea of Nabe san's location. Damn, you know. What? Seriously? He's on the main drag in Chinatown. If you go now, I'm sure you'll find him. But is he even gonna listen to you? It won't matter if I miss him because we sat here wondering. Bitch. <laughs> Yagami Detective Agency. Quick on its feet indeed. Yeah, you doing nothing. <laughs> Can't compete with that. Are you paying this nigga for nothing? Sitting there collecting a check. Nave says should be on the main street in Chinatown. I need to catch him and find out what's going on. So we're going to catch him next time. So yeah, man. We're going to catch him next time, man. I think she got something to do with it. I don't know if it's the way old girl said um, or she used Hanny, man. Now she's trying to get rid of him. I think she declined Handy Man and then um sent her son, who's a fake fake coma, on him to kill him. And that's why he's looking for him. And uh I did say last episode that maybe Handy Man killed Sawase. He went back, you remember? He left after I was getting my ass whooped. He left he left me while I was fighting him and he went somewhere. So he might went back and killed Sawase or Ice Pick Man killed him. It don't matter. They both going down. Pause. So make sure you hit that thumbs up. Share for your boy. I'm out of here. Appreciate the thumbs up, man. It really helps the channel. All right, holla.